Hello and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. This video is going to be about how to install Industrial Craft because I know lots of people wonder how to install it and don't know how to install it correctly. So I know exactly how. I'm going to show you now. So there's going to be three links in the description. The first one will be to uh, Rishigami's Mod Loader. So first of all we need to download this to install Industrial Craft. Your thing has to have uh, mod loader in it to load the mod. So we'll uh, go download direct and it'll download mod loader right there. We can put that on the desktop. Then we're done with that. And now we need to get Minecraft Forge. So I'll have a link right to here in the in the uh, description. You can, if it depends, if you want to support the people that made Minecraft Forge you can go add fly. This will do the customary you have to wait five seconds but it'll give them money because you uh, click this link and you looking at all the ads so you can actually support them that way but if you wanna be mean or whatever and you can download it directly from right here and it'll download so close that and now the key part is industrial craft so first of all you're gonna come to this link uh, which will be in the description you'll come right to here so you're gonna to wanna to click right here at download industrial craft 2 for minecraft 1.2.5 so you just click that then you can download client and then it's a direct download and we'll just wait for that to download okay so we can put this here and now just like modding any kind of uh, like putting in any kind of mod you're gonna to wanna to start with a fresh force update so when you log in you're not gonna it's not gonna screw up you're not gonna have any other mods but if you already know what you're doing you technically don't need to uh, be watching this tutorial so you always want to start with this getting a new minecraft.jar so now that we updated our jar and everything so it's all clean we're gonna want to go into our start menu and type in run and then click on the run program and here you want to put in the percentage app data and then another percentage sign and you click OK and this will bring you up to a whole bunch of files and all we need to do is click this name thing so the dots are at the top and click dot minecraft should be the top one and then bin and now here's the minecraft executable jar file for this we need to open with uh, a zip file opening a, a program of your choice so you can get WinRAR or 7-zip they're very easy to install if you just Google search or Bing search whatever you can find it download it just for uh, sake of this tutorial I'll include a link to WinRAR Archiver in the description so now we would open it with this nah that's just because I didn't purchase it we whenever you want to mod you delete the meta INF so you just delete that and now we can start modding so now we open up the mod loader it's all since it's a zip file uh, WinRAR is set to automatically open them that's why there's these little books so first off what we do is we just highlight all of these and then put them in the minecraft.jar and click OK then we close mod loader now we take Minecraft Forge client. X this. Take all of this. Put that in there. And now we can we have to run Minecraft so it generates all the necessary files for mod loader to work. So now it's gonna run it now we can tell it has mod loader one mod loaded which is mod loader there's a mods thing forge and, mod, and minecraft forge forge mod loader and minecraft forge so now we want to go back to our dot minecraft you can either click back or you can click up here if you have windows 7 now we have this thing called the mods folder we want to open that and put the industrial craft client in there and that's pretty much it all now all we have to do is open up Minecraft login full screen whatever now two mods loaded you can see here that mod IC2 industrial craft 2 
industrial age themed expansion for Minecraft. Now we can t t t to test that it's working, we'll go in creative mode, generate a new level, and then we'll be able to see all the industrial craft blocks and such. Since this is new, all the sounds are still way up. So now I can open my inventory. You can see all this industrial craft stuff. Solar panels and they work and everything. So yeah, that's pretty much how you install the industrial craft mod. If you have any other mods that you'd like me to in to make a tutorial about how to install, uh, please just leave a comment. Uh, subscribing and rating this video is it, it tremendously helps me because I know if I'm doing a good job or not. So, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.